Hello guys and welcome for another video with Fen and in today's video I'm going to talk about the best rider heroes and my rider hero tier list. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this video and yes I'm sorry I had to take my time and get some information from people. So I also want to thank you my friend Tatsu that gave me some feedbacks on the new heroes as well. Because this is mainly why I didn't release that video because I had no clue on how these new heroes would perform. And just let's get started and I'm gonna go with Sven. So Sven for me is a B tier list. So Sven is actually is the damage factor is kind of okay but he's also like a lot of defense as well and he has mainly skills on siege. So Sven is actually a really good hero to have if you are a whale. And I would probably put him in S tier because he is only for Siege. So for free to play player or like low spender, I would not recommend to spend too much on him because despite the fact he is really good, he is mainly for Siege. So you've got better heroes on the field. And I also want to mention that this video is mainly for free to play player or low spender. And also, it's um, mainly focused on the field, so don't take it as, um, oh, you know, uh, this hero is bad. No, no, no. So, the, for example, Sven is really good, but it's mainly for Siege. So, if, you, if you're not on the top of your alliance, then there's no reason why you should spend fragments on him. And so, let's go with Bella and Bella. Used to be a tier list, and I think now Bella is a tier list. I think you got better heroes now than her, and she's also, yeah, more for siege and also very focused on, um, you know, all the tanks who has shield. So she's probably one of the top hero as well. But I would probably put a like a plus if I could, but I can't. And so she would definitely be part of my march if I had like two rider squads but I've got only one rider squad at the moment so I would probably use my fragments on other heroes if I have only one rider squad. Uh, Cynthia, Cynthia I'll put her in D because her damage factor is pretty low and she's mainly focused for field um, for s speed so she's not making a lot of damage and so this, she's not really a good hero to have on the field, to be honest, only for yeah, Bounty Ground. And even for free to play player, you got probably better like Park. So I'm going to do Park as well. And Park is actually D. It's for the same reason, like Park is for speed, is not for to make damage. So therefore, you got no reason to put him on the field on your march. And if you check, like if I go quickly here and you see... Most of his um, skills is for the, uh, also for zombies. So this one is for zombies. And yeah, this one is for speed, at least the second part. And then this one, increased damage, but only when the squad size is less than 50%. So his skill is actually like not really good. And that's why I put him in D. Uh, so let's go back on the tier list now. And so Katrin... Catherine, I'll probably put her in B as well. So she's a paid hero exclusively. So she probably not should be on that list. But I'll still put her in case you want to spend money. So you have to spend $200, I think, to awake her completely. And to be quite frank, she's not expensive if you compare it by the amount of money you should spend to awake one hero. So... I still put it there, but yeah, you've got much better hero to focus than her. Um, Jonathan, Jonathan, I think most of his skills are ir irrelevant. Like there's too many conditions, despite the fact he has a like, pretty good damage factor. I'll just put her, put him in C. And now one of the new hero actually, and Chasey, I heard really good stuff about Chasey, even on the field, even though she's technically a garrison hero. But I think she's really good with the basic attack damage. And at least that's what I, I've been told. And she's much stronger hero than the um, old ones. And because she's got a um, big part of her skills on garrison only, I would probably just put her in A for the field. 
think Bella is still probably better than her. And then I'll take Freya. So Freya has a really good skill damage on three squads. So I put a Freya in C and most of her skills, actually all her skills are for field and only for riders. So I think she's really good to have on the field. So if, if you don't have many legendary heroes, I would definitely recommend to use Freya in your march. Next is Felix. And actually I was pretty surprised. And actually Felix is a steer now to me. He's absolutely really good damage dealer on the field now. And I've been told a lot of good stuff, like really strong hero on the field. And I think definitely is probably the best hero right now on the um, rider. Next is May. So May, you can't even get her anymore. And she's definitely paid hero. And she's got also... So if you want to awake her, you need to spend now two fragments to obtain one of her fragments to upgrade her. So she's really hard to get now and to upgrade. And uh, despite all of this, I'll put it uh, probably B, but May is actually really, really good. And if I had the opportunity to have her awake, and if it was easier to have her awaken, I would probably put her in S tier, to be honest, because I've been playing with May on my bounty ground and I just love her. You know, the two squad damage of 15,000 damage factor is just really good. and it makes a huge difference uh, as well on the field. And she's got a lot of boost on, um, you know, rider attacks. I think she would be like perfect with uh, Bella. So if I had the second rider squad, I would probably choose Bella with me if I could. And I think this is our last hero. And Elena is for me S tier now. Because yes, yeah, she's got a really good damage factor as well. And she's got uh, also the... Um, you know, the basic attack bo uh, boost. So basically, if you pair her with uh, Felix, you're going to have uh, most likely the best uh, rider squad on the field. Probably meta squad is going to be Felix, Elena, if you have one rider squad. Now, if you want to have two rider squad, then you can probably do Felix with Chasey and then Bella with Elena. Or Felix with Elena and Bella with me, if you can. But keep in mind, yeah, uh, May is really hard to awake and you need to spend like double the amount of fragments. So probably better to have uh, Felix with Chasey and then Bella with uh, Elena. So that's going to be my tier list for the best rider heroes. And, and I hope this list will help you to choose which hero you want to focus on. And I'm actually quite sad because my Bella, as you can see, is awakened right now and I'm kind of sad because I spent a lot of fragments to wake her and now she's not as good as she's, she was before uh, or compared to the new heroes. So yes, it is what it is. And um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, you can leave me uh, comments below with your opinions, which one you think is the best rider hero. But I think this list is pretty good and you will use that list to upgrade your heroes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.